Hi, welcome to my uh, continuing blog on uh, all things Sade. Um, I've been contacted by a lot of Sade fans since putting up this um, YouTube footage, uh, or this footage onto YouTube in regards to the early Sade um, years from 1983 or 82, 83 onwards, before um, the singer signed her solo deal with CBS. Um, basically this blog is all about uh, the original Sade band and the original Sade band was actually a whole band. It was uh, formed by three whole musicians, myself, Paul Denman uh, came from Hull, Stuart Matthew came from Hull. So basically the band responsible for all the work on the first Diamond Life album um, was a whole band. Um, and all the members in the band were, were specifically um, born in Hull and travelled down to London. Uh, that's where we met the singer. Now, there is some hype and spin put out by the band that the band actually consisted of Andrew Hale in the beginning. Andrew Hale, Paul Denman, Stuart Matthewman and the singer Helena Dew. Um, this was incorrect and Andrew Hale was also not in the, the band Pride. The band Pride was fueled by the same musicians, myself, Stuart and Paul, with the backing band in Pride. Um, so not only did we instigate the music in Pride and drive that forward, we also created the music for the band Sade. Now within Pride we also worked with Barbara Robinson, one of the singers from Pride, and we were working on her solo set prior to Helena do the singer taking over our band uh, and calling it her own. Um, basically that happened after some, um, not fallouts, but some decision to um, go it alone with the three members from Hull and the singer, uh, Helena Do. And I think she took control of the band at that point and uh, we said goodbye to Pride. But uh, basically uh, the Sade band was formed uh, and created by three mu three musicians from Hull, essentially. Now Hull, uh, Kingston upon Hull, is 200 miles northeast of uh, London, and basically it's been an incubator for many many acts. Uh, David Bowie's early career, his early band Spiders from Mars, Mick Ronson, his right hand man, he's the guy who wrote music with. In fact, I think Ronson was more. Um, instrumental in Bowie's career than Bowie himself. Uh, Bowie took a lot of influences from Ronson, Mick Ronson being one of the spiders from Mars. So the same thing happened again. Um, Trevor Boulder, Woody Woodmansey, Mick Ronson were a whole band. Uh, David Bowie lived in Hull at some time. Hull is an incubator for many things to happen because it's 200 miles away from London. It's a little village, even though it's a city, it's a village out on a limb, a city out on a limb, so it becomes a village. And things are created. Uh, Roland Gift, uh, one of our friends from the 1979 scene, he met the beat in London, he was from Hull. Um, Fat Boy Slim came from Hull, he was in the House Martins. Um, Beautiful South, they were a whole band. The singer was from Sheffield, but they were, uh, the, the band were from Hull. Everything but the girl met in Hull. <laughs> Um, and now we have bands like the Paddingtons, um, who are a whole band still making um, an impression on the music scene. So Hull's responsible for a lot, a lot of uh, musical careers and a lot of directions in music. So basically going back to um, the band Sade, uh, Andrew Hale, who is now a, a nucleus of the, of, of the current band, uh, he joined in late 83 after all the work had been done. Uh, we basically spent a lot of time in New York and in London and we spent a lot of time in uh, solid light uh, rehearsal studios writing the songs and uh, Andrew came along after uh, approaching the manager after we played Ronnie Scott's in London. Um, still as a three piece from Hull he came along. He came down to the studio and he just basically busked along. I mean everything had been done, he just slotted in. Um, myself Paul and Denman and Stuart Mathman used to have a, a three-piece jazz trio called PSP 
we used to play uh, London, we used to play like the Fridge and uh, the Hope and Anchor and we used to play a pretty cool little jazz set. Um, and one of the songs, Snake Bite, was taken uh, onto the first album. Um, basically Andrew Hale got the credit for Snake Bite even though he never wrote it. Um, he was basically not around at the time. He added some keyboards at Power Plant Studios, but that's as far as he went. The, the song was actually written by myself, Paul and Stuart. It was called Snake Bite, and that was from the band PSP. So a lot of things uh, were taken from Pride. The song Diamond Life that Ray St. John wrote in Pride became Smooth Operator. Um, and then the, the singer, Helena Do, called the album Diamond Life. Um, so she took a lot of influences, a lot of material from Pride, um, and a lot of aspects of what the whole band created were taken into the studios with Robin Miller, and uh, we more or less shaped what uh, Sade was to become. Uh, Robin Miller took his um, production to his level and created um, that first album and um, the rest is history. It's still the, I think, the biggest uh, album for a, a UK female singer. Uh, and all down primarily to uh, three, three whole musicians, myself, Paul Denman and Stuart Matthewman. Um, lots of people have, have jumped on the bandwagon in 84. Andrew Hale joined the band in late 83. Got a lot of publishing allocated to him. Um, and everybody, uh, including the record company, have benefited from um, the early work. Uh, 